Hey guys, Hydro the Mechanic Chapin with another video. I am working on a 2008 Nissan Titan 56 V8 four wheel drive. Uh, I have problem with the ABS system. This is the code that I'm getting on my scan tool C1115. Okay, um, I just wanted to share this information with you guys. Estoy trabajando en una 2008 Nissan Titan. Tengo problemas con el sistema de ABS, código C1115. The ABS keeps activating on every stop. El ABS se activa en cada vez que para uno. So, um, C1115. First thing to check, check tire pressures, size, and wear. Check for all loose wheel bearing or cracked ring tongue. See if the scan tool can get into the ABS system and check for the speed of each of the wheel speed sensor. See if they are same speed or not when the problem occurs. Back probe and the scope the wheel speed sensor for a square wave signals and see if one is abnormal okay um the most common problem on this code are the front speed abs speed sensor a lot of people replace it the um the front wheel bearing and have assembly as you can see here both front wheel bearing were bad grinding also found right axle not loose replace it both bearings sensor assembly it also solved the issue of the four wheel from activating on its own okay um I'm going to show you what I found on my truck. As you can see, this is what I found on the driver's side, uh, half assembly. This is all messed up inside. Esto es lo que encontré en el lado del conductor. Let me get a screwdriver. Esto es lo que encontré en el lado del conductor. El valero de aquí está malo. You see how loose is this dust? The dust cover. Como pueden ver, esto está todo flojo. This was very loose you can see the bearing is not that good Como pueden ver, el valero no está muy bueno. so this was my problem driver side wheel bearing okay um, just make sure you check both front bearings don't just replace the driver side because I'm not saying the driver's side will be your problem. You have to check both of them. Um, this is how we check the uh, the bearings. I removed the uh, 32 millimeter nut. I just push the uh, CV axle in. Así es como yo lo revisé. And then you can see from the inner side. If it's all loose and damaged inside. That means the bearing is bad, okay? To remove to remove the um, the half assembly, it's not that difficult. Para remover eso no es tan difícil. You have to remove two 18 millimeter bolts holding the caliper bracket. Remove the complete bracket and caliper and pads, everything. Just Use something to hang it. You don't want to break your brake hose. Siempre usen algo para colgarlo. No vayan a romper su, 
su línea de freno, remove your um, brake rotor, just unplug the ABS sensor on the back. There are also three, I believe it's 17, I'm not sure. Yeah, in the back you have a three seventeen millimeter bolt. Remove them, and then you can use a uh, flat chisel, and you can try to hammer between the uh, spindle and the half assembly, just right in the middle. Try to open it up because if you punch and punch here, it's not easy to remove this. You have to use a uh, flat chisel and hammer it in between the spindle and the uh, half assembly. Entonces, como les digo, para quitar esto, lleva tres tornillos 18 atrás. Ya luego usen un, un cincel plano y traten de meterlo en medio del, del valero, en medio de la pieza acá. Porque si lo golpean aquí no tan fácil va a salir. En cambio, si lo golpean ahí sí. Ok. Okay guys, I hope this video can help someone with the uh, code C1115. Make sure to check for um, for a bad have assembly or check your CV axle, check your ABS sensor, check everything before you replace any parts, okay? Thanks for watching and subscribe, thank you. Gracias por ver y suscríbanse por favor.